Cures Within Reach is a nonprofit. Uh, we're headquartered in, in the Chicago area, but we're global in nature. And our total focus is repurposing science and medicine that already exists for human use and could be used to solve other unsolved diseases, mostly in the rare disease space. So what that means is we raise funds from individuals, from disease-specific nonprofits, from corporations, foundations, to fund proof-of-concept clinical trials that might show that a drug that's already available for one disease disease might actually have an impact on a different unsolved disease. And I can give you an example of that. So a few years ago, in a rare disease called autoimmune lymphoproliferative syndrome, which is a mouthful, we call it ALPS, and I'll use that for the rest of the time. It's a disease where kids have white blood cells that never get recycled in the body. So they get built up and built up, and they end up filling up all the healthy spaces in the body, and in their late teens, early 20s, these kids die. They get infections and anemia. And uh, a few years ago, somebody discovered what the gene was, and that led to discovering what pathway might be involved that wasn't functioning right in these cells. And the pathway is, is a common pathway that we have some drugs that we use in other diseases that that pathway is involved in. So we funded first a mouse model to be developed, and then they used that drug on the mice, and the mice that had ALPS all got better. And then we funded a six patient clinical trial. The disease is so rare, there might be 600 patients in the world that have this disease. So we found six. Five of the six were in complete remission in 90 days. So all their built up white blood cells, completely gone, all their new white blood cells lasting 21 to 28 days and then getting recycled. And so these kids are now treated with a pill in the morning and a pill in the evening on this one a drug and they've com completely, they're completely different than they were, you know, the year before they got on this, uh, on this medicine. Now we haven't done anything else besides uh, made sure that the uh, results got published and doctors around the world now have access to this drug and the information about it, but these kids are getting remarkably better. And we think that there are lots of these repurposing opportunities. We, right now, on our Cure Accelerator web platform, which is a, an online platform where researchers and funders can connect with each other, we have 120 different projects, many of which are in rare diseases, where if we can find funding, these are clinical trials designed to make a quick impact on, on patients with those particular diseases. So if a clinician was looking to see if anything's been published, they can come on our site and look at the, the sites. The site is cureaccelerator.org. There's also, you can come on our website, which is cureswithinreach.org. Um, almost all the, the papers that are the result of work that we've done have been published in peer-reviewed journals. So. If, if you're a clinician treating a disease, you ought to be able to find any results we've already accomplished. In the last six years, we have 13 different treatments that are either being used off-label by physicians or on their way to commercialization, all involving drug, device, or nutraceutical repurposing in a wide variety of disease, but many of them in rare diseases. And if a clinician had a good idea for repurposing. So for example, if he or she was doing something in the office that they see was making an impact on a patient with a rare disease, there's going to be in our next release of Cure Accelerator, which should come out in October of 2016, a case report form that the clinician could fill out that would only be visible by other physicians on the network. So, you know, we don't want patients using stuff off label without clinician supervision, but the doctors will be able to talk to each other about these kinds of things. And we're hoping to amass a lot of these off-label anecdotal stories to see if we can see a pattern, uh, either in a particular disease or among diseases, and whether these physicians can start sharing the information with each other to help make patients better.